What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. It is Friday, which means Zer is back. We're in the European dead zone over in the Winding Cove up by the Fallen Ketch. All right, take two. A Windows update sadly changed all my audio, so apologies for the uh, muted upload just now. But here we have the exotic engram. If you have any missing in your exotic collection, this will set you back 97 legendary shards and will help you finish that collection. If it's already full though, it will provide a random piece of exotic armor instead. The weapon of the week is Telesto, the weapon that breaks the game pretty much every season, uh, even this season in fact. So if you haven't picked this one up already, 29 legendary shards and that is yours. We've got the bombardiers for the hunter this week. Again, this will set you back 23 Legendary Shards. A massive 65 stat on this with Discipline and Mobility. Very well, very good stats. we got Parting Gifts, so dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay. And damaging targets around it, creating a secondary effect based on your subclass. So definitely worth picking those up with some of the changes to Bombardiers recently. we got the Mark 44 Stand Asides. Seriously watch out. This grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with Seismic Strike, Hammer Strike or Shield Bash equipped and fully charged. And then and hits with these abilities to recharge a portion of your melee energy too. A huge 66 and a massive 23 on intellect. You can make up the mobility using powerful friends and mobility mods too. Uh, with some changes maybe up and coming for Doom Archers in the future, it might be worth picking these up and giving those a try. Then for the Warlocks, we've got Winter's Guile, so Warlord's Sigil. So eliminating targets with melee attacks increase your melee damage. 61 stat here with strength of 24 and recovery of 20. So again, not bad as strength will help recharge your melee abilities. So definitely worth picking up if you haven't got a good pair of those. For the legendary weapons, we've got the Juan 7 rifle with Grave Robber and Swashbuckler. We've got the Serent Seraph Revolver with Firmly Planted Osmosis, which can obviously have Stasis now. We've got Gnawing Hunger, Zen Moment Multi Kill Clips. So that's pretty good for PvE. And then we've got the Distant Tumulus with Pulse Monitor and Opening Shot. Wish bring out with fill prep and opening shot as well. Then we've got Temptation's Hook with Relentless Strikes and On Guard. So almost, almost a good roll. We've got Bottom Dollar with Pulse Monitor again and Dragonfly. And these will all cost you 50 Legendary Shards and 1,000 Glimmer. And as for the armor set, this is the old Vanguard set. And we've got the, which is the old Vigil of Hero set. So we've got a 60 stat on the gauntlets there. We've got a 60 on the chest. On the helmet, we've got a 58. And on the boots, You've got 59. So if you're collecting these for transmog on any of your guardians, be sure to pay Zer a visit to fill out that collection. There we go. Let's get a round out Zer with my mic actually switched on this time. So I hope you've enjoyed this second Zer video today. If you have, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, and I will catch you all again very soon.